today we're going to paint ultramarine heavy intercessors from the pariah nexus box in the heavy metal style all right you can see we've already got our squad base coated with Vallejo model color dark blue and we did that through our airbrush just to save a little bit of time because this heavy metal style can be very time consuming. So our first step is going to be base coat everything that's going to be black or metal with Abaddon Black from Citadel. And we're going to try to do this with two thin coats so we don't lose any details. And the reason why we're doing this first is so that if we make any mistakes and we hit that blue anywhere, we can clean it up before we start with the very tedious edge highlighting that we're going to be doing on all that blue armor. And you'll also see I'm going to be using a lot of Vallejo paints in this video. Um, if you want to be a purist and stick to Citadels, I'll have a conversion chart at the end of the video so you know which uh, Citadel paints to use for any of the Vallejo paints that I'm going to be using. Right, our next step is going to be to apply recess shade into every single panel line on the miniature. You can use any black you want, but here we're going to be using Citadel's Null Oil. And the key here is to be as neat as you possibly can. Uh, the heavy metal style is pretty heavily uh, accentuated by extreme tidiness and very crisp lines. So you're ultimately going to have to go back and clean up anywhere where it gets outside of that line. So in the interest of saving time it's a lot easier to just take your time and get it as neatly into all those crevices as you possibly can Alright, now that the armor is all shaded, our next step is going to be applying highlights. And in following with the heavy metal style, this is going to be with many, many edge highlights. So our first edge highlight we're going to do on the miniatures is going to be a 50-50 mix of Vallejo Game Color Heavy Blue and Vallejo Model Color Gray Blue. This is going to be applied all over every single edge on the model, which is going to take you a very, very long time as these Gravis Armor Marines have quite a bit of edges on there. We're going on to our second edge highlight here of pure Vallejo model color gray blue. Just remember, take your time, be as neat as you can. And if you make any little mistakes, do go back and clean it up with either the base coat color or your first edge highlight. The goal here is to make these as crisp and clean as you possibly can to get the full heavy metal effect. And for the final edge highlight here, we're going to be using Vallejo model color pale gray blue. This is going to be a dot highlight, so it's going to be a very, very tiny amount on just the most raised parts here. So anywhere where there's a apex on any of these panels that would be directly hit by the sun. And just be very careful not to overdo it here because it'll start looking a little weird if you put too many of these. And that's the armor done. So after this step, next up, we're gonna start working on the gun and the metal. So for the gun, we're gonna start by hitting the edges with a couple edge highlights of some grays, getting lighter and lighter each time. So for the first edge highlight we're gonna do on every edge on the gun is gonna be Vallejo model colors dark gray. We're going to do this just like the blue armor, just do a very careful and controlled edge highlight across every raised edge on the gun.
And now for the second edge highlight, we're gonna be using Vallejo Model Colors Basalt Gray. And this is going to be just on the very most raised edges. So typically the ones that are gonna be closer to the top are being hit by more direct sunlight. Just be very careful to allow that first edge highlight to still show through just a little bit underneath. And now that we're done with the black edge highlighting on the gun, we're gonna be moving on to the metal colors. And this is gonna include all the metal on the gun, the little metal tentacles coming down on the back of his legs, any of the metal on his backpack, and for our leader as well, the metal on his little face mask respirator. We're gonna start this out by using Citadel's Lead Belcher as our base coat. We're gonna do two thin coats with this. Uh, it's a pretty thick paint, so it'll have pretty good coverage already. Next up, we're gonna go back over all of those metal areas we just painted with lead belcher with Nuln Oil Gloss from Citadel. I'm using the gloss version because I want these to be a little bit more polished, look a little bit less dirty, but still have some good definition and shadows on here. If you don't have the gloss version, feel free to use any black wash you've got. It'll work just fine. It'll just dull the metal a little bit more. So if you're going for that grim, dark look, any of the regular versions of a black wash that are not gloss will work just fine as well. And then the final step on all these metal colors is gonna to be to bring back out some of those highlights. And we're gonna be using Rune Fang Steel from Citadel. And we're just gonna do a edge highlight anywhere the sun would be hitting this metal. And this will just bring back a little bit more of the brightness to the metal. And with that highlight done, that's it for the metal. And the next step, we're gonna be moving on to the gold. For the gold, we're gonna be doing this on the chest eagle on all the Marines, the trim on all their shoulder pads, as well as any of the little skull iconography on any of their weapons as well. And to start for this gold, we're going to be using a base coat of Retributor Armor by Citadel. This one also has pretty good coverage, just like the lead belcher, so two thin coats should be plenty to get a nice thick coverage on all the metal parts of the miniature. And again, just be very careful not to hit any of that blue that you've already taken care of, as it'll be a little bit of a pain to try to match any of those highlights if you do cover those up by accident. And now that our base coat of Retributor Armor is down for the gold, we're gonna do our shading. And again, we're gonna be using the gloss version of Agrax Earthshade. And this is gonna give us a nice shiny gold that's still gonna have a lot of character and texture in those recesses. And now we're gonna move on to our final step for the gold, which is gonna to be to do an edge highlight of Liberator Gold all along the edges. And on the chest eagle, just focus more towards the outside of each of those feathers coming out away from the chest, as those are just gonna help give it a little bit more depth and make it look a little more dynamic. And now that we've finished with all the main colors on our Marines, we're gonna be moving on to some of the details. And the first detail that we're gonna start with on our Marines are the belts, because that's something that all the Marines have. And we're also gonna use the same colors here for the strap on our Sergeant's gun. So we're gonna be starting with Vallejo model color mahogany. And we're just gonna do two thin coats to get a good base coat of this down across all of the leather parts on all of our Marines. And 
And the first of two edge highlights we're going to be doing on the leather pieces is going to be Vallejo model color red leather. We're going to do a thick edge highlight on both the tops and the bottoms of the belts because they have a nice little crease on both the top and bottom that's great for edge highlighting. And then after that, we're going to go ahead and follow it up with a second edge highlight of cork brown, also Vallejo model color. And this is going to be just on the very top parts that would be directly hit by the sun. Next up, we're going to be working on the eyes of all of our Marines that are wearing a helmet. And we're going to start that by using Vallejo model colors deep green to do a base coat. This is a nice dark green that'll provide a good first layer for all of the eyes for us to highlight up from. And for the first highlight on the eyes, we're going to be using Vallejo model color light green. And this is going to go over the entire eye lens aside from the very deepest cracks right where it meets the blue of the helmet. And then to finish off the eyes, we're going to do a final highlight of Vallejo Game Color Escorpina Green. And this is going to go only towards the very inside of the eyes, right near the center of the helmet. It's just going to give it just a little bit more depth and make it look like the Marine is focusing forward. And with the eyes done, we're going to move on to painting the shell casings on the inside of the gun. We're going to start this with a base coat of Rune Lord Brass by Citadel. And just very carefully drop that in right over all the shell casings inside the magazine on each of their guns. And once you've done two thin coats of that, we'll just do one quick shade of this with the same Agrax Earthshade Gloss from Citadel, just to provide a little bit of depth in there while keeping that metallic shine. And now we're gonna move on to the last main piece we've got here, which is gonna be the bare head and face of our sergeant. We're gonna start this by base coating his head with Bugman's Glow by Citadel. And we're gonna do probably three to four thin coats of this to make sure we can get full coverage over that nice dark blue color that we had already had over his head. And now that we've got a nice full opaque coat of that Bugman's Glow, we're going to start highlighting this. And we're going to do it by layering up a mix of Cadian Flesh Tone into the Bugman's Glow. So here we're starting with a 70-30 mix, and then we're just going to progressively layer this up with slightly more Cadian Flesh Tone until we reach 100% Cadian Flesh Tone. And that's going to be our mid-tone on the sergeant's face. Now we've got a solid mid-tone built up with some shadows, we're going to start working on some highlighting. And we're going to do that by mixing Rackharth Flesh into Arcadian Flesh Tone. I chose Rackharth Flesh because I like to think the sergeant's been pretty grizzled and war-torn through years and years of fighting with the Marines. So he's going to look pretty pale and beat down, especially after always wearing his helmet into battle. So this Rackharth Flesh is going to help give him a nice pale, washed-out look.
and now we're moving up to pure rack hard flesh for the final highlight on just the absolutely most raised bits on his face and this uh, sharper highlight will help provide a little bit more contrast and really draw attention to the face on our sergeant. And now we're going to be providing just a little more contrast on the face by using some glazes made out of washes. So here we're using Flesh Tone by the Army Painter. And we're going to thin this down very heavily. And you can skip this step if you think that your face already has a good amount of detail. But we're just going to glaze this into some of the deeper recesses in a very, very thin coat just to provide a little bit more contrast and color there to make it look a little bit less flat. And here we're going to be doing the same thing we just did with the flesh tone, but now we're going to be using blue tone from the Army Painter. Again, heavily thinned down, and we're going to be doing this just around the eyes. This is going to give our sergeant a very tired look, uh, simulate bags under his eyes, give him a lot more depth to his face. And we're going to do one final glaze here of red tone. I just don't think the flesh tone really brought down those deepest recesses just quite enough. So we're going to do a very thin down red tone just to provide slightly more color to the very deepest parts on our sergeant's face. Now for our finishing touches, we're going to be painting his eyes. And I think he only has one eye. I'm only painting with one eye. It looks like his right eye is a scarred up mess. So we're going to be painting only his left eye. We're going to paint the white of his eye with Vallejo Model Colors Ivory. It's a very slight off-white color. Helps to bring it just a little bit down so the white isn't too much of a contrast against the darker, more grisly skin tone. And then once we get a nice coverage there, just being very careful, taking your time, then we're going to paint in very carefully one dot on his pupil with a bat in black. And that is going to be just heavily watered down so that it flows really nicely, very small amount of paint. And that is our squad done. And here is our completed squad of Ultramarines Heavy Intercessors complete with their decal transfers and their bases done. If you want to see the Citadel counterparts for any of the Vallejo paints I use, that's coming up right after this. And I hope this video has been helpful for any of you interested in painting Ultramarines in the heavy metal style.